So good morning, everyone. We're here to talk about uh, Automix business and heart. Um, we will see that there's a lot of wedding photographers today on the market. Uh, that's the job that everyone's, everyone wants to be doing. And uh, most of people here are very, very talented, but we realize that what they miss in the everyday business is some basic business techniques. So I'm going to try to go in depth into the main pitfalls that uh, wedding photographers meet on a daily basis and try to give you some tips to get better with your art and business. To, so just to tell you a little, more, uh, little more about me, so I'm Greg, I'm a wedding photographer. I'm based in Paris. Um, I've been shooting weddings since 2009. That's when I shot my first wedding for friends. And I've been full time only since 2014. So it's been three years. Uh, I shoot mainly medium format film. So I shoot only film and almost exclusively medium format. And what's important to know is that I started photography when I was a kid, when I was 12 years old. I was studying developing my negatives and my prints in my own dark room. But then I made business studies and an MBA in the United States before working for 10 years as a marketing manager in a big US company. So what's important with my profile is that I come from a business background and even though photo was my passion, it's only later after I did these business studies and I worked this marketing job that I decided to go full time to make a living of my dreams and my passion. So I have a business background and that's also the reason why I'm here to share some of the things I learned in my corporate life before, because these techniques, these business techniques, they definitely help me um, to build my business on a daily basis. So what's important to realize today is that the, market, the wedding market is huge. Uh, there is almost 2 million weddings every year in the United States. I don't have the number on a global basis, but all in the United States, for example, it's 2 million weddings. Um, if you like, you look at the market, just in the US, the wedding market is $55 billion. So that's a huge industry and it's growing every day. The growth rate per year is approximately 2%. So you have this huge market growing. Everybody wants to be part of it today. And if you specifically look at the photography, photography is a passion for a lot of people. Everybody wants to be doing that. After they started in another job, next to a corporate job, everybody wants to be entering that market. So if you look at the number of wedding photographers just in the US, and I'm speaking about the US here because that's one of the only markets where we have actually uh, data, but there are more than 100,000 wedding photographers in the US. And these people are just the one uh, that are registered. So you probably have the same amount doing that as a passion as they will be next to their job. So what's important to understand is that it's a very attractive market. Everybody wants to be doing it and new competitors enter the market every day. So the only question is, how can you survive on such a saturated market? Because if you look at this number of photographers, you realize that only 40% are going to make it to year two. Only 70% are going to make it to year three. And after 10 years, you realize that only 2% of the photographers are still on the market. So basically, you have a lot of people entering the market every year, wanting to become a photographer, and you realize that they stop doing it after one year, two years, three years. Personally, I started on the market only three years ago, but there are already a lot of people who were there back in the days who are not there anymore. And one of the main reasons and probably the main reason why they're not here anymore is that they, because they don't make enough money. So they work a lot of hours every day, every weekend shooting weddings, every week editing the wedding they have shot, and at the end of the day, they just realize that they don't make enough money to live out their passion, so they just quit. And that's very unfortunate, and that's very sad, and this is the reason why I'm, I'm here to tell you more about how can you shape your business with some techniques so that you can uh, be there on the long term. So we're going to have a look at the five main pitfalls that the wedding photographers meet on an everyday basis. So the first one is that photographers don't have a brand. 
they don't build a brand and they, they are not recognized on the market because they don't have a brand name. So that's the first one. We're going to go into, into details just after that. The second one is that a lot of photographers, they make ineffective marketing investments. You have a lot of things where you can invest today, like blogs, magazines, anything, and people are not satisfied with where they invest their money. The third one is most of photographers today, they don't have a healthy pricing, meaning they don't charge enough for the work that they do. Most of digital photographers today, they don't realize that they spend so much time editing, so much time for just one wedding, and what they charge is only the hours of the wedding. And in the case of film photographers, as I am, some people don't realize the huge amount of cost that they have for shooting a wedding, for example, the film rolls, the film processing, etc. So NLC pricing is the, number, is the number three reason why people don't make it. The fourth reason is people don't have a business plan. Whether you want it or not, you're an artist, but you're also a business owner. And as a business owner, you need to have a business plan. You need to know exactly where you're going, what are your objectives in terms of sales, in terms of profit, in terms of number of weddings, and you need to be really careful with these objectives because you want to follow through through the year. And the last one, which is number five, is people usually have a poor management of resources, meaning time. People don't invest their time where they should be investing it. And we will be focusing on that, knowing that as a photographer, you only make money when you have a camera in your hand. So we will be reviewing all of these five items just to give you some tips to get better on those.